hi guys welcome back and if you're new welcome thank you so much for stopping by to check out my video so today I am going to be talking about the new melt blueprint stack that just came out and <laughs> I was just when I saw it I was like oh my gosh that is gorgeous I have to have it now I have never purchased any other milk products before none of their previous stacks none of their eyeshadow palettes you know I've seen all the beautiful green ones coming out that everyone is just having a ball with but I missed out on them so I didn't get a chance to pick those up now when I saw this I was like I'm on it as soon as it drops because first of all you guys know I love color and blue is one of those favorite colors of mine to put on my eyes <laughs> so I was really excited to get this and to snag the limited edition blue packaging is really really cool I think the whole concept behind these stacks is a neat you know inventive kind of unique idea for eyeshadows and I think it's pretty cool I would say that these aren't the easiest <laughs> for me to handle especially not having long nails it's really easy to kind of accidentally dig your nails or dig your fingers into these but I still like them nonetheless so just some general information on this stack these eyeshadows will be available. The eyeshadows themselves are not limited edition from what I understand, just the blue packaging. So in the future you can get them, they'll just be in their regular black melt stack packaging. Now this did come, and look at this box you guys, even the box is really pretty. <laughs> but this um, stack did come as part of a collection, the blueprint collection I believe. And there are three liquid lipsticks that come along with it. but. I, I'm not buying any more lipsticks. I got way too many lipsticks. I need to do a declutter, but that's a whole nother video. <laughs> so I didn't get the collection, but you can pick up the Melt Stack for $48. Now that's a whole nother topic of conversation and another reason why I don't have any Melt Stacks to this day because typically the stacks, they only have one shadow per pan. And for me, $48 for four eyeshadows is a bit much. So when I saw that they had actually split these pans, I was like, okay, eight shadows, $48. That's still a lot, but I win it. <laughs> you know, let me go ahead and check it out. So that is the pricing on this, $48. You get eight shadows. There are only two mattes in here though. Let me go ahead and show you these uh, shadows. So this is one of the pans. So these are two shimmer shades, very beautiful shimmer shades, but um, y'all know I can't really see. I'll tell you the names when I swatch them. <laughs> this one here, uh, if I can just, and they're magnetic obviously so you know you have to like pull them apart but anyway this one here has a gorgeous brown matte shadow as well as this beautiful like bronzy type shimmer shadow which I did use that on my inner cut crease today so I did use that I did use a little bit of this now I know I'm all over the place I did use a little bit of this dark brown to kind of buff out the dark blue because there really is no nice transition transition shades in this stack so that's one thing that kind of sucks there's no transition shades really <laughs> it's like two dark mattes these two are shimmer shadows as well so it's like this really pretty kind of like a I don't know just it's not a baby blue it's not a sea blue I don't know it's a beautiful blue and then this one here is a very very light light blue shimmer shade now what I will say about this is it's extremely crumbly so I'm not really sure how to tell you to use that I used it like I normally do by just spraying my brush and you know I'm kind of used to having to work with crumbly shadows on my lids so it's not anything foreign to me but if you're not used to dealing with a crumbly shimmer it could be a little frustrating because it does get everywhere that's another thing I would definitely suggest doing your eyes before you do your complexion when you use this stack because if you 
do your complexion first it's a good chance if you plan on using this dark matte blue which is absolutely gorgeous but if you plan on using that you're gonna have fallout it it has a lot of fallout it is very powdery now I'm assuming these are pressed because they look like pressed pigments to me the matte shadows but yeah you will definitely get fallout with that when I was doing my lower lash line I was like being extremely careful not to get any fallout on my cheek area and I still got a little bit so this color here absolutely gorgeous but it is messy it is messy and this beautiful dark shimmer shade here I would have to say that might be one of my favorites this actual pan is my favorite pan the dark matte blue and this gorgeous dark shimmery blue it's my favorite pan and I used both of these on my eyes I used one two three four five six I used six out of the eight shadows on my eyes I used this in my crease this on my outer cut crease I used like I said this gorgeous bronze shade here on my inner cut crease and I did use both of these blue shimmers in this pan on my cut crease as well so I really went ham on the cut crease trying to create a nice gradient for you guys because I wanted you guys to kind of get a feel for you know how these shadows perform now the only complaints like I said that I have about this stack aside from the high price <laughs> is the dark blue matte in my opinion is messy and if you're not really that well versed in using very deep dark colors that can get messy you can make a mess with this quickly so that's all I'll say now as far as the specs on this stack it does say that this is vegan I do believe it's cruelty free as well but it does say that this is vegan you do get 12.01 grams of product with this stack of shadows so you do get a decent amount of shadows and I believe there are very very pretty now is there anything groundbreaking or just you know monumental about these shadows no <laughs> honestly it's not I didn't experience anything just like heaven sent when I was using these shadows do I like this stack yes am I happy I purchased it yes <laughs> do I love limited edition products and packaging uh yes <laughs> so i would say it is a gorgeous gorgeous stack i feel like i do really like the look that i was able to create with this stack so let me go ahead and get some swatches together for you guys and hopefully i can tell you the names while i'm swatching <laughs> So let me go ahead and try and read these names for you. So the dark blue is Dim Out. Next to that is King Stud. After that we have Deadbolt and Starlight. Next to that we have Nailed and Hammered. And lastly we have Beaming and Hot Wire. I think that's what they say. <laughs> So those are all of the shades in order for you guys and as you can see this is a gorgeous color story very very pretty I like it the only thing that I wish um, they had done differently honestly was I wish they would have included kind of like a tan matte either a light light brown or a tan matte shade just to be able to have a nice transition you know on your upper lid because that's what most people do now as you can see I don't have that nice light tan or light brown transition on my upper lid and it doesn't bother me that much per se because you guys know I like to use one palette and one palette only that's it so I usually will force a palette into submission before I attempt to grab for another palette even though I have about a bazillion <laughs> palettes so whatever it makes sense in my mind okay so anyway these are the beautiful shades you guys I love them I think they're gorgeous they swatch amazingly as you can see just extremely pigmented 
beautiful and bold but those are just my thoughts on this melt stack I'm really glad I got it I love it I think it's gorgeous the packaging is bomb it performed very nicely I didn't have any issues with it but like I said that dark blue is messy so <laughs> if you'd like to see how I created this look then stay tuned because it's coming up next